I hope you had a very happy new year. I wanted to start off the new year with a trends video on spring and summer trends. So very new season trends because spring and summer will be here soon. And I know we have to make it through winter, but this will give you something to look forward to. And there are already things in stores that represent some of these trends. So you'll see lots of images in this video. There's a lot of resort wear that is out right now. And I think you're going to like a lot of these. These are very wearable trends that I have chosen. And there's a lot of non-wearable things that I don't think will transfer from the runways to mainstream fashion. So hopefully you will enjoy these and see something that you like. I'm definitely not telling you you have to wear these. This is just a fun video to kind of get you excited about what is going to go on in the coming season. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So if you love dresses and you love white, then this is going to be a good 2024 spring and summer for you because white dresses are a really big trend and there were a lot on the runway shows there were anywhere from really casual to dressy and I'm hoping the ones that we see are not sheer and see-through I'm hoping there are some that will actually be nice coverage because that usually is the thing with me and white dresses but I do think that there are going to be a lot of good options and I have seen a few so far that I think are great that are really casual because that's what I would be looking for and something that would be easily cleaned and easily washed um, but you will have options that go all the way up to really dressy um, and you'll have shirt dresses that are cotton poplin that would be fun so I do think that if you love dresses and you love wearing white because it's a really nice cool uh, color to wear then you are going to find a lot of really good ones this coming season so this trend has definitely been around for a while and I'm kind of surprised that it's as on trend as it is and it's wide legs, whether it's wide leg jeans or pants, but a lot of these styles are also in a crop version that I have seen coming out. So I think either way, full length or cropped is still on trend. Although I was thinking these would be going out, but I just think they're here to stay and the styles have gotten a lot cuter over the years that this trend has been going on because it's been going on for a little while I think since I started my YouTube channel and so I really think that this is going to stay so if you have not tried a wide leg maybe try it again see if there's a style out there that looks good on you because there are a lot of different options out there right now and a lot of fun colors and things that are coming out a lot of fun materials so you don't have to stick to something super heavy if you want to go a little lighter weight with a linen or you know just a rayon type material that's really flowy these are going to be on trend for the season and you're going to see a lot of them i think and since I'm talking about wide legs, I did want to mention the opposite of a wide leg, which is also on trend. And I talked about this in another video already, but I wanted to mention it again. And that's your capri pants. And these are more like your clam diggers, which are the tighter pants that just come right below the knee. Um, they don't quite come down on the calf. And there are a lot of these options that I'm seeing. And I've seen them in stores already. So they kind of look like a shorter legging, but they, they call them clam diggers. So if you don't like the wide leg and want something skinny, and want something a little more cropped then this will be a trend that I think is starting to come back in style for this season and it might continue to grow we'll see but it is the opposite of that if you don't like that option this might be a better option for you I am super excited to talk about this next one because I wanted to put it in my other video but I just couldn't find any available yet but I have found some really beautiful options and so the next trend I want to talk about are really really beautiful bomber jackets and these bomber jackets have morphed from being very masculine looking to something very feminine looking. And so there are so many neat options already. If you have not gotten into this trend, this would be a time to do it because you can find some that have floral on them that are just in really pretty colors or color blocking, but these are more refined. You're going to find them in all kinds of really cool materials and prints, and they're going to be a little bit more cropped and feminine looking. And I really love this trend. I want to find one that is just really special and beautiful, but um, I'm very excited to talk about this one because I think it's a great jacket for springtime. And I think you could do a lot with one that is just very interesting, especially with a lot of the clothing that's coming out that some of it is very neutral and solid colors. You could find a really cool bomber jacket that is embroidered or fun colors and put it over the outfit and it just makes it that much more stylish. So this is a very, very fun trend in my opinion I think it's my number one favorite so I wanted to talk about it in this video and I think it's very wearable I think anyone can wear a bomber jacket they're 
especially with the more feminine look of them. They're going to be really pretty this spring and summer season. Another fun trend that I want to talk about are bow accents. And this is a trend I've talked about before. I think I talked about it maybe a year or two ago, and it just didn't seem to go anywhere. I didn't see a lot of them throughout the season. And right now I'm seeing a lot of bow accents and I'm seeing a lot of bows on accessories. So I pulled out these earrings that I have on, which are old uh, hoop earrings with a bow on them and i think you're going to find a lot of really cool options with bows on them whether it's a dress that has a big bow on the front or maybe a little bow handbag or something that just has bows all over it but this is something that i think is going to be very popular for spring and summer because a lot of the feminine details are coming back on trend and this is one that i absolutely love i think bows are a very feminine detail to add to anything and they just just add a little bit of style and beauty to an item so um, they can go a little overboard so you don't have to do bows all over it but a little cute bow accent is something that I think would be a fun trend to try if you have never worn that and this will be the season to do it. So I have to talk about florals because florals are usually a trend for spring and summer and they kind of change around as what the trend is. And so the trend for florals is still 3D florals. And I think it's going to be a lot bigger this season than when I talked about it last season or last spring and summer. And there are already a lot of options that you can find out there. And a lot of them are going to be roses, so rosettes or just big flowers that are 3D that are alive that come off the garment or the shoe or the bag and I think there's going to be a lot of fun options but you could find some really fun options with just little flowers on them that are a little bit 3D as opposed to doing the big ones but it, regardless if you love the little ones or the big ones you will have lots of options because that is going to be the big trend for 2024. Some of these trends just make me think I have repeated myself so many times, which I have, because a lot of these trends continue, and this one is one of those, and it's two-piece sets. So I haven't talked about two-piece sets in a little while because I was avoiding talking about them, but I want to talk about them for this because I thought it was very interesting, some of the things that I saw. And one of the most interesting things that I saw were people wearing pajamas as an outfit. And... I don't know, I guess this is a real thing that is street style that people are doing and I don't know, more power to you if you want to do that because some pajamas are really, really cute. I happen to love my flannel pajamas that I wear all the time, but I'm not sure I would put them in an outfit with my ankle boots and just kind of go out. But this is something that they were showing and a lot of the two-piece sets are two-piece sets that kind of mimic that look. and. Who knows, maybe it'll be a fun thing that we can try. And uh, I would probably do something that looked a little more suitish as opposed to pajama-ish, but had kind of a mixture of that if you could find something like that. But I don't know, it's just a trend that I thought was interesting. And two-piece sets, whether you do a knit set or a silk set or whatever, anything that comes in two pieces, I think is a great option. And it's something that brings a lot of versatility to your wardrobe. And so this is a very good trend that's continuing. And I love it because if you can find matching pieces and then mix them with other things, I do think you get your money's worth out of this trend. So if you don't want to do the pajama two piece sets as an outfit, then definitely go for some of the other really good options that you will see out there in 2024. So I love this next trend. Although I don't wear a lot of coats, I think the fancy coats that were on the runway shows were just adorable. So there were a lot of satin coats, whether it was a cool little swing coat or maybe a satin trench coat because trench coats are really big for spring and summer. I think that's a great option if you have really rainy weather. And if you can find it in a shinier material, I just thought it would be a lot of fun. Maybe even a metallic. I have seen silver coats and some that are patent leather. And so I think anything textured has been really popular for a little while. So this just brings in that extra sheen and texture that makes it look a little bit more elevated. So if you love wearing coats, I think this would be a fun option for you in 2024. So if you're like me and love your sportswear, you love your half zip sweatshirts or your hoodies and things like that, then you're going to be able to elevate them with some of your spring pieces that are a little bit dressier. So take a pencil skirt, which is very on trend, and put it with the zip up sweatshirt and some heels. So there were a lot of looks like this on the runway shows that I thought were a lot of fun. And I think that this is a good trend for those of you that really love to be casual, but want to elevate it just a little bit. And that would be me. So 
So uh, I love this trend. I think it's fun. It's part of the contrast um, styles again, where you're putting two things together that you would not normally wear together. And it just gives our wardrobes a little bit more versatility. And I keep saying that. So I love this and I love thinking outside of the box with things. So this is something that you could do with items that you already have in your closet. So I do want to mention some colors for the season. I did a color trends video. If you want to check it out, I will link it for you and it'll tell you all the colors that the Pantone Color Institute predicted for spring and summer 2024. But there are two things that I want to talk about. The first one is shades of red, which I thought was very interesting that this was going to be a trend for 2024, especially in the spring and summer, because a lot of these shades were wine colors and burgundy colors. And so I wore this shirt thinking about that. And I do think that this is more of a springy looking shirt. So I do think these colors can actually create some really nice items for spring and summer. So we'll see what we can find out there. And of course, bright red is always a really good option for spring and summer. And you will see a lot of those rich color reds out there for the season but I also want to talk about the opposite of this which would be more of your pastels which we don't always see a lot of but with the colors of the season that they predicted a lot of them were in softer pastel colors so I do think we're going to see a lot of those as well so if you don't like your bright reds you can go with more of a pastel pink if you can do that and some other pastel colors like blues the really ice blues are going to be very dominant this season and so and also the lilacs so any of these lighter shades of pastels if you can wear those colors then there's going to be a lot of options for you this season so either way your bright reds or shades of reds or your shades of pastels. I mentioned this one in my last trends video, but I wanted to talk about it because I do think it's a very wearable trend that's going to be very big. And this time I want to call it statement belts. So I just talked about belts in general, but statement belts with buckles, with, you know, the silver hardware, because metallic is a big trend, which I talked about that in my last video, you'll see a lot of metallics out there. So the statement belts are a big option. And I do think that they can bring a lot of versatility to your wardrobe. So if, you know, you can wear them high, you can wear them low you can do a lot of different things with them put them over dresses over skirts over pants with your jeans so this is a good inexpensive option to add if you have not tried something just to elevate your outfits a little bit and you think you could wear a belt then definitely this season look for a fun statement belt that you can add to some of your outfits and give them a little bit more style so if you are not into really trendy things that come and go then this next trend is going to be one that you will love because it's your elevated basics and elevated basics have been on trend for a little while so anything that has longevity in your wardrobe that looks a little bit more expensive even though you may not have spent a lot of money on it that you can mix and match with other things is definitely a good way to go and i do think that's a great foundation for your wardrobe and then you can add some really fun trends on top of it but the old money style and the quiet luxury trend has been going strong especially this past season or this past year and it's going to continue into 2024 so you're going to see a lot of really classic looks classic pieces and you'll have a lot to choose from and I usually talk about a brand called Quince that I absolutely love if you want elevated basics and you want them at affordable prices then this is a really good way to go and they have really good quality and the things will last in your closet believe me I've got a ton of stuff and I absolutely love it all so you'll see a lot of linen and a lot of organic cotton for spring and summer which I think are really good elevated basics to have that you can just you could create a whole wardrobe capsule wardrobe out of them or they could just be your foundation for adding on some other fun trends for the season so i would love to know which of these trends was your absolute favorite and what you will be wearing in 2024 and i hope you really enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and i will talk to you next time